Hi, it's Ruth here. Let's look at a task one writing, which is a report where you have multiple pie graphs. I hope you don't panic when you see this. And by the way, this is taken from the Cambridge Test Series and it's book nine. The charts give information on the ages of the populations in Yemen and Italy in 2000 and projections for 2050. And of course this part, as you probably know, is the same in every test. What is your task? You have to summarise the information. You have to select the main features, report the main features, and then make comparisons where it is relevant. Don't try to compare everything and don't try to report every figure. Here is the overview. Why don't you read it with me? If you read aloud, your English will improve faster. The four pie charts provide information about changes in the age makeup of the population in two countries, Yemen and Italy. The data is given for the year 2000 and a prediction is shown also for 50 years later. The ages are organised into three groups. Children up to the age of 14, adults up to the age of 59 and older people 60 years old and above. How did this student write such a good overview? Maybe they followed this type of strategy. The who, what, where, when, why, how strategy. When you're writing your overview, it's a good idea just to go through these simple questions so you don't miss anything. You don't have to answer all of them. In fact, you probably shouldn't. So let's go back to this overview. It's exactly the same. You can ask yourself, what is the topic of the charts? It's to provide information about changes in the age makeup of the population. That is the topic, or the what. Then you can ask yourself where? In two countries, Yemen and Italy. What about when? The year 2000 and a prediction for 50 years later. What about this green part? You can ask yourself, who? And finally, this grey um, text here, three groups, you should ask yourself how many. And hopefully, when you're in the middle of the test, you won't miss anything. The next paragraph deals with the main features. Only choose maybe three. In general, there are several clear changes predicted. The population in Yemen appears to be getting older, with the middle age group occupying the largest proportion in 2050. Similarly, the population in Italy is likely to get older as well. The largest change is expected in Italy, where the oldest age group will increase by as much as 18%. Notice this paragraph only deals with the main features, so you don't see many numbers, many percentages, because it's general information. Also notice the student focuses on the largest proportion and the largest change, the oldest age group. So you like to focus on the extremes of the data, the most obvious. Here is the same paragraph again, but you can pause the video and read it while looking at the pie charts. All right, then, then you need to write about the relevant detail. 
To be more specific, in 2000, half of the population in Yemen were children up to the age of 14. However, by 2050, this age group will have decreased, only accounting for 37%. The middle age group, which consists of adults from 15 to 59, will have increased in proportion, reaching 57% of the whole population. In slight contrast, it is expected that Italy's population will become older, with people over the age of 59 reaching well over one-third. Meanwhile, the proportion of children and adults in Italy will decline, with the adult age group probably reaching 46.2% down from 61.6% 50 years earlier. Can you see the difference in this paragraph compared to the other one? This one has more numbers, has data, it's more specific. And notice we introduce this at the beginning by writing to be more specific. OK, what were the important language features to get such a high score? I mean, this text would get a 9 in IELTS writing. The student has excellent connecting or linking words. The student has accurate words to describe pie charts, and there is a good range of them. And it's a similar feature for speculating about the future. Things like will, likely, could, and to compare and contrast. Words like however, more, fewer, in contrast. And the overall structure is extremely clear. I'll just look at a couple of these in detail. So when you write about data, you really need to practice at the sentence level. If your grammar is still low level, you are wasting your time writing whole reports. Just improve your sentences. Can you get all these little words of the, up to the, will have decreased, accounting for, it is expected that, over the age of, and the noun of noun. So you need to get all of these little details perfect. Also, in the third paragraph, there was a good range of linking words like to be more specific, however, in slight contrast, meanwhile, and the student also used a couple of relative clauses using which. And there is that paragraph again. Do you need a conclusion? No. This is a report. It's not an essay when you argue or discuss two points of view. You are merely describing data, statistics, information. So a conclusion would be inappropriate. Thank you for watching this video lesson. And by the way, this model was 237 words, which is quite long. So you might not have as much information in the overview or as much detail in the last paragraph. I have more free IELTS Task 1 videos on my video library at www.myenglishfuture.com. Please ask questions anytime you can sign up on the website and by all means subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will keep putting free videos there as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.